All right, y'all, so quick story about when I used to work at a company called Lincoln Electric. Uh, as you know, I just said it plenty of times if you follow me, uh, I hate working in factories, uh, big warehouses, and uh, stuff like that because it, it just brings me down. Every time I walk into it, uh, my, my motivation just goes down uh, for some reason. It, it's just not for me. That's one reason why I started, started the lawn care business. But uh, this particular day when I first started working here, actually when I first um, went in for an interview, well, well the walkthrough of my first day before I started, me and my buddy started at the same time. We both uh, went in and we met with this guy. I think his name was like Jeff. Uh, that may be wrong, but um, it, it was a crazy day. And, and uh, here's what happened. Uh, first, we he was walking us through everything and showing us it was a forklift position. So he was showing us everything. We're on the forklift and uh, we did all that. We're doing good with all that. I'm pretty good on the forklift. Me and my buddy were pretty good on that. So um, about noon, lunchtime, we went in the break room to fill out paperwork for us to start. So um, as we're filling out paperwork, it's a oh, it's an older guy. He walks in and he tells us, hey, hey, y'all, if you if if you can avoid it, do not work here to kill you. You know what I'm saying? Working in the factory is going to drag you down. It's great money, but uh, if you can avoid it, do not work here. And uh, the guy that was training us said uh, this is his last day of work. Uh, so he's just going around telling people that. Um, so uh, we ain't paying no mind or anything like that. But it, it was a good guy. And he literally just kept saying that. Like, you're going to work here for the rest of your life. You're going to get stuck here. Do not get stuck. Go out and explore. Uh, start your own business. He was telling us things like that. Don't worry about the money and just go do your own thing. Um, after he said that, this guy literally, he walked out the door. No, actually, before that, our, uh, the guy that was doing our um, our interview and all that, he was telling us, like, yeah, you know, when people retire, they usually, uh, if they're not staying active and things like that, they, they usually die. Like, he was explaining that to us because uh, it was a lot of people that day for some reason was retiring. So, um... He told us all that, and as soon as this guy left the door, uh, we start eating a little food after that, and then uh, we heard an ambulance, uh, and, and we heard a lot of commotion going on on the outside of that door. We go out there, we see the guy laying on the ground. The guy had a heart attack as soon as he left out that door. It was crazy. I think I don't. I I, I think he was good because I started working. I worked there uh, for a little while, and I, I believe they said he was good. Uh, but just the simple fact that this man just literally told us that you will die working here, just uh, just confirm for me that I got to start my own business and uh, create my own time. You know, that working in those factories, you're on their time uh, versus starting your own business and you're on your own time. Uh, whether you start a lawn care business, uh, power washing, anything, uh, even t-shirt business, anything whether even if you're not making uh as much money as you would in a warehouse in my eyes that's better because you, you're freelancing you're on your own time even though you're working for every customer that you have it's all about getting that time so that's just a little story for me uh become an entrepreneur uh take that i mean it was a sign for me hopefully it's a sign for you and uh again i'm gonna keep on giving you more uh business stories that happened in my life i have so many of them it's crazy but uh, keep following me, follow my business. If you're a contractor, go to FNH Pros app. It's growing fast. Uh, check us out.